Hey YouTube, so in today's video I'm going to show you guys how to create your first Roblox uh, animation in Blender. So the first thing you're going to want to do is you're going to get these two plugins. The first plugin is the Blender Rig plugin on Roblox. I'll leave these two linked in the description below. Install that, pretty simple to install. And then also this Google Drive one, make sure to download that. That should be a pretty simple download option there. Make sure that's downloaded. Once you've installed both of these, the first thing you want to do is you want to open up Blender. If I'm going a little bit fast, just go back and uh, pause it. Point is, from here, go into uh, Edit, Preferences, Install. Find wherever you downloaded the, the uh, Google Drive plugin. Find it. It should be Roblox Blender 2. Install that. Make sure it's turned on. From there, you're going to want to go to... So close out of that, you can close out of that too. Open up your Roblox Studio, but it's next part. Okay, I apologize for that second. Uh, point is, you want to go to base plate. Uh, from base plate, go into plugins, uh, build, oh, that's not right, build rig, R15 block rig. Once you've uh, added the rig, now you can go straight to the next step. You're going to want to go to Blender animations and select your rig. From there, it looked like close up quickly. Uh, go into make sure the origin position is set to zero zero zero, and then you can, you can delete that. Make sure it's a zero zero zero. It's really important. It has to be at zero zero zero. Click sport rig. Call it what whatever you want to call it. Call it like rig for tutorial. Uh, you want to clean these meta parts. They're pretty irrelevant. Um, sorry, meta parts, I guess. Go into Blender, uh, go into File, Import, Roblox, Downloads, uh, the rig. So I forget what I called mine. Uh, basically, it should be this one. If it isn't at zero, zero, go back and change that. It's very important. Uh, make sure it's, you, sorry, make sure you're on the side of the face because that's the face, that's the side you want to be working on. So, now that that's done, go into animations, switch to, oh, f first off, select your uh, rig meta up here, where it says rig meta, go into, uh, click N, go into Roblox animations, click uh, rebuild the rig. That will give you some bones to work with. Uh, then go into animation, go into pose mode, delete the camera, it's pretty relevant, we can go to the camera. And then from there, make sure, just double check, you're on the right side. Great. From there, you want to select everything. Uh, actually, first off, I'm going to quickly uh, hide my, 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 my webcam while I do this. Go into here, turn on this. Uh, leave that where it is. You can change it later. You might want to go here. Uh, go into, where is it? Is it, uh, is it there? Or is it, here it is. Uh, frame rate. 60 FPS. I don't know if that changed anything, but somebody else did it. So, I mean, cool. You can do that if you want. Uh, from there, make sure that's turned on down here. Go into keying, keying set, location and rotation. Uh, from there, you want to, we can turn the webcam back on. You want to select everything like this and then click insert keyframe now if we go like this and then hold up it should give it should it should, should have given us a keyframe uh well it did but i don't know where it's gone point is that's not too important uh next up you're gonna want to select the the part you want to move so if you want to move the arm move, 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 move the leg real quick uh position it uh bring it along here till like 10 or 20 uh 10 is probably a little bit better Go R and then X, bring it up to where you want it to be. R and then X again. I want to change the position of these two bits, so R and then X, uh, like that. And then that's that's a bit of a it's like a knee up. And then uh, this is a very simple kick, kick, kicking animation. So once you get to here, you want to make sure as you're going along. Uh, so like twenty five would be the kick. So just like that, and then like that, and then. Boom, there's the kick. Now, if you want to have it go back to like a normal leg, you can just copy that. 
uh, you can just uh, hold up. You want to copy the keyframes. So find the keyframes here, copy, go back to the left leg, and then just go to about here, and then Control V. One thing this might do is it might create a really weird line here. It might auto generate the uh, yeah. It might so here it might be worth figuring out what the issue is. So the issue here is, is that there's no there's, there's going to be okay. So the the issue is on the the toe bit. <laughs> so that would just be very as simple as insert keyframe there and then inserting a keyframe there. Now, if we play it again, it's very quick. Uh, but, it, but it does, basically, it does do the, the kick. Um, might be worth, actually, real quick, uh, if we go into the entire leg, just like, oh, there's an issue here. There's something wrong here. Now, what part is that? It's not that part. It's this part. Okay, so that key from there. Now it's a very quick kick, <laughs> so I'm just gonna quickly do this. You don't have to do this, uh, but yeah, it's very quick actually. Uh, boom! Yeah, you, you might want to move that a little bit along. So just select the leg. Uh, maybe just move. So just select these two and then move them slightly along. Yeah, that's a little bit better. Got a little, little bit more of a kick there. Again, you can do whatever animation you want to do. It's just a very simple kick animation. Once you're done, go into uh, N and then go into this, export animation. It will say exported down here. Uh, actually, that's a, that's a mistake. Don't do that. Well, you can, but you might want to, you might want to go here, change that to wherever your animation ends, like 30, or let's go 35. Point is, you end up with this. Pretty nice, just a very smooth animation. Uh, export that as it is now, not as it was before. And now find your rig. Uh, control two. You bring it out of the uh, out of the base plate, and then click uh, import animation. Control V, and boom, we have our smooth blender animation in under. Oh, that took way longer than expected. In uh, it looks a little bit weird. Uh, definitely not my best work. It's a very wiggly leg there. Point is, um. Upload it to upload it to Roblox. Call it a really bad kicking animation. And then from there you can call it whatever you want. I'll just say uh hello. Um <laughs> I submit it. Now that will always be there. So if you're working with a scripter, he could probably script that into a model. I'm not gonna do it today, uh, because I don't want to, but if you want to see that kind of tutorial, I could do it. Now the animation is just there, so that's saved to Roblox. So obviously going to stop doing it because I'm it's taxi friendly. Just quickly, uh, in case I didn't show you at the start, this is the kind of thing you might be able to make at the end. Uh, this is a little animation I made. This is a very basic one. It's not very good, but it's got a very simple script and a very simple animation. And my webcam's been off this entire time. I apologize for those who wanted to see my face. <laughs> sure, very few of you. Um, but there's this, boom, very simple on a click animation. So if you were scripting a we we weapon, you could do this and it would do like a little bit of damage at the top. Who cares? That's the little animation you, you, you could make. Now I can show you how to do that if you'd like in a video. So if you want to see that, make sure to comment it and I'll do it in tomorrow's video, but that's all you need to know. That's literally it. Now you're a Roblox animation pro. <laughs> That's where I'm going to end the video. If you enjoyed this or found it informative, make sure to like, comment, subscribe, and I will see you in tomorrow's video. Bye, guys.